Mm-hmm. Welcome back. Yesterday we got an interesting fragment on the old uh, file select screen. And, most importantly, we cleared Mom's heart. And now, there's something that we did miss by skipping Mom's heart and going directly down to the extra little shoal zone to kill old Satan there. And uh, I do believe... Which one of these is it? That's Satan, right? So let's check this. Yes. So this is what we missed out on. He's here. Okay, we don't need to see the credits. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So that's how we unlocked Eden, just by beating Mom's heart once. It's a pretty interesting reward. And I do have some mods on now. I don't need to play as other characters. Because now that I have beaten Mom's heart, I can enable the mods. And there are just some quality of life things. These are some nice illustrations. I highly recommend this mod, if anything. Uh, some character mods, which I'm not going to use. I might as well disable them. But they're already on. <laughs> so. No harm, no foul. And so last time we technically beat the game as Lazarus, thanks to respawning with... No. No, we used the clicker. That's right. Okay. And we gained an Eden token. So unlocking Eden gives us an Eden token, so we can use Eden. He's interesting because, uh, fully random stats, and you can only play it as long as you have Eden tokens, which you earn by beating Mom's heart. So you can maintain a balance if you clear a monk's heart each time and play with your one token over and over again. But I think for now we're just going to hold off and uh, move on to someone else, shall we? Not these guys, they don't have achievements. So, we're missing Magdalene still, hilariously enough. Our first run against Mom to kill, to kill Mom did not count as a win, technically. I mean it did in the win streak, but it didn't give us any post note completion. So I don't know. What I'm going to go for here is the Five Nights at Mom's achievement, which is beating the game five times in a row with different characters. And as we know, last time we had Lazarus, so why don't we do someone else? We unlocked Kane, right? So let's start this. Now Kane has two hearts, 4.2 damage, <laughs> hilarious, right? Uh, and um, other than that, way faster speed. Hey, fancy that. Alright. Looks like we broke enough rocks to unlock a lucky rock. But, he does have a downside, and that is relatively low HP as well as very bad range. Strangely enough, but yep. Yeah. It's enough of a balancing factor. He does get additional luck, and he's by starting with the luck foot. And that increases the payouts from gambling. So that's pretty nifty to have as well. In uh, the original Isaac, he used to always have beneficial pills as well, thanks to Luckfoot, but they removed that feature. So, rest in peace. <laughs> Kane is still pretty darn good enough as is, I'd say. The range can get a little bit annoying, but he's a swell guy. A swell guy. So, that uh, big ol' spiel at the beginning of the video, that's finally done. We <laughs> can get back to uh, good old fashioned killing and pillaging. Reaping the, uh, Monster Manual. Back in the day, that was misspelled as Monster Manuel. And, uh, that stuck around as a joke for the longest time. Anyways, what this does, it just summons a random familiar. Little, uh, any following item? Little co-op buddy? Not a co-op buddy. Just a little baby. Or even a meat cube. All of those are available through this book. Should you choose to use it, which I might as well. So we actually gained a bandage out of that, interesting enough. Pop! There we go. Sadly, we can't keep the dam- the damage? Bandage. The bandage does give quite a lot of damage. That's not a secret room. Maybe the top room there was the secret room. Okay, that was just silly. Did not have to take that damage. We're not in mortal danger yet. <laughs> Inching ever closer. Yeah, we want to preserve this win streak. The earlier we can get five nights at Mons, the better. We can forget about that. 
can go on completing the runs at our own leisure. Ooh, a soul heart. Nice. Little Haunt! Hey, how are you doing? That thing inflicts fear. He's scary, isn't he? He does his best. Wow, he's really, really inflicting the fear. He's bringing on the fright. Ooh. Looks like someone gains the courage to, uh, <laughs> attack. Alright, well there's Gemini destroyed. We killed big ol' Contusion last, which is interesting. That opens up an avenue to get to the cellar, to get that unlocked. Each freaking uh, combination of bosses has to be killed to unlock that, I do believe. Which includes both uh, forms of uh, Gemini. That big ol' happy doofus. Yeah, that couldn't have been a secret room. No way, Jose. Now eventually Kane will get even better. We can unlock him holding a paperclip to get all the uh, good old items. Get all the golden chests open for free. At no cost. I could go back for the battery, but I couldn't care less, so we'll just be off then. Did I? I thought I had more bombs than this. Weird. Alright, I could take damage. It's not a daily run. I don't have to be a whiny baby. As long as I don't lose my deal with the devil, we're all good. Also extremely fast for this point of the game. I do appreciate that. I can escape some tricky situations. Like that whole eternal fly circling around menacingly. Don't want that. And yeah, I just checked on the left of the screen next to that little evil pentacle there. There is no disabled achievements trophy, so we are in the clear. I don't want to deal with that room. So, there was no big ol' skull on the screen because I have the disabled giant books mod. Whoop! Just saves a couple seconds here and there. It's really nice. If you want to see them, you don't have no you have no obligation to install that mod at your end. But, I enjoy it. I could probably install it permanently to even use it on daily runs. It'd be a smart idea. Bomb friend, who do you think you are? I don't want you intruding on my money gathering freaking endeavors. Ooh, this might be an angel room. Angel room uh, run. Should the devil deal be horrible. Rosary bead is as I was mentioning last time, one of the very few- I need to touch him at some point, so join the party, bum friend. It's one of the few ways to increase our chance of getting an angel deal. Assuming we do ignore this devil deal. I think it gives you a flat 25% bonus chance. Which is phenomenal. I think what else you can do is use a donation machine and uh, kill the devil beggars, hilariously enough. I guess murder is approved. Smiting demons gets you a uh, gets you a little bit of a little bit of traction with the God Squad. They appreciate that. Doing their dirty work for them. Monstro. All right, a juicy sack. Just what I needed. At least the slowing creep makes his bullets almost untouchable. Can't aim for a heck. Couldn't aim if your life depended on it. Also, this monster was very large, and he's darker in tint. He's a champion boss, and um, they're relatively rare. They're, uh, you know, there's champion enemies, there's champion bosses too. This one never does his big leap, he just kind of hops around and spews at you. Nothing else, nothing new. I think he might have a bit more HP though, so that's the trade-off. I'll take this, sure. Okay, these are kind of good. But do we want our 75% angel deal chance? Nah. Bye, Rosary Bead. Don't need you. Well, hold on. We only need to take one of these, so let's just go with this. Spirit of the Night gives you spectral tears in flight, whereas this one gives you a speed up in flight. I'm already quite speedy, so... 
don't need that other one, that's for sure. I should definitely endeavor to find a regular secret room. Great success. Sorry, bomb friend, but <laughs> I'm not going to humor you here. Oh, we have more keys than I do bombs. Wow, there's flies here. Interesting. Placebo. Interesting proposition. Don't need it. Let me donate. Shops are pretty poor at this stage of the game, but by donating you can make them better. See? Store upgrade level 1. I do believe that'll take place immediately, so our next shop will be pretty good. It'll have three items to choose from, as opposed to one or two. I think. It's been quite a long time. Gotta remember, I do not have Holy Mantle. Despite looking like someone who might have Holy Mantle, I do not. Caves one. I could bomb this. Let's go ahead. We got a free Gemini out of it. Well, something had to give there. Guess it was the bomb. A little bit more dignified than touching one of those fleshy boys. Yo, where'd this come from? Awesome, thanks. Makes our balls have a bigger hitbox, I do believe. I don't know, if I'm looking at their shadow... No, I think the shadow is the same size. Which means the hitbox is probably the same size. So it's just aesthetic. As are some of the worm trinkets. This one, and there's a pulse worm, I do believe. And that pulse worm gives you a little uh, dubstep tears. <laughs> so you might say. Makes them wobble to and fro. It's pretty cute. Wow, somehow I did not get hurt there. So thank you for that. Hey, you want to come this way? That was poorly executed, but it's the thought that counts. Mr. Mega? Awesome. Don't know the requirements to unlocking that. Probably using X amount of bombs. There we go. Blister gives me knockback. Yes. I don't think this trinket has any downsides. It just gives you free knockback. Could be nice with crowd control. It even works with piercing shots. So it helps balance out piercing shots' inability to deal with lots of enemies. Alright, little gishy. Thanks for your assistance. I don't think I've ever really used Monster Manual in this normal way. I know Monster Manual used to have a soft spot in the hearts of Isaac gamers because it was, at one point, the most reliable way to get a fourth level, uh, a tier four meat totem, bandage girl, etc. They used to be notoriously hard to find. You have to kill a horseman, they drop the meat or the bandage, and then, uh, you'd have to kill four horsemen in one run to get all four of those. And sometimes you could get a freaking deceptive horseman on the womb that won't even give you the meat cube. The little conquest, dude. How rude is that? So Monster Manuel, people would abuse it to spawn. They'd, like, have a game-breaking setup that have hundreds of batteries. They'd just keep spamming it and brute force their way to having a full-sized bandage. My reflection, huh? Not what I'm looking for. Not the kind of doohickey we're looking for. I should probably take it, though. We had a chance to last time, and I didn't. I could also just die. That works. And you must be almost nearing the end. Come on, buddy. This will only hurt a lot. Secret room. Sleuthed with ease. Let's increase our chances, shall we? Plus 2.5, not bad. Range down. Awesome. Range up. Actually awesome. Oh yes, three items. This is quite the bonanza. I'll take this. I'll take this. It's Humbling Bundle 1 plus 1 free forever. You might be able to uh, divine what it does. Every consumable that is placed onto the ground 
is two instead of one. So there we go, double coin. As if on cue. Even hearts are doubled, but only the red hearts, so... Because there are no double soul hearts. It's a little bit sad, but I guess it's in a sense of balance. We're gonna see if we earn our deal for this floor. Otherwise, we will use the Joker card, and it will be fine. Sissy Longlegs, keep churning out those friendly spiders. I love your contribution. I want you to know that you have a valuable place in my heart. <laughs> you almost goaded me right back in there. Alright, man. Enough fooling around. So once again, I have to say I'm thankful that I'm Kane, because his base DPS is a little bit higher than anyone else's. We'd be at 3.5 damage. Ooh, we actually earned the deal. Double keys. Exquisite. Well, this was not worth even considering using the Joker, so I'm very thankful that I did not waste it there. And I suppose we'll get further along. So the deal with Devil Deals, as you can see, I only have the 33% chance. Now if you do miss the Devil Deal on the floor, your uh, the floors you've missed kind of increase by one, and it increases your chance to get a Devil Deal, because there's kind of a cooldown. They don't want you getting too strong, too fast. So one floor later... Okay, so suppose you earn your Devil Deal, and um, you go to the next floor, you start with a base 33% chance, like I am right here. Suppose you miss that Devil Deal, as you'd expect by uh, just sheer RNG. Then the next floor you have a 60-something percent, and if you miss that one, you're back up to 100. And of course you can increase the chance for getting the deal by bombing various things, killing things, so on and so forth. Or you can just get, like, a goat head. That'll be spectacular. As we saw last run, the music on these floors it sounds kind of like straight out of Terraria, doesn't it? I like it. This is so tedious. We have not been lucking out with these runs. These mushrooms take approximately 10,000 Earth years to destroy. Did we check the curse room? No. Well, good thing we did, because we did get a soul heart out of it. Explosive diarrhea. No thanks. Nobody wants that. More range! Thank you! Supremely beneficial. Even better would be a tears up, but I'm just thankful that we don't have a tears down. Bye, boogity. I wonder what uh, treasures will await us in this treasure room, hmm? We're about to find out. Ooh! A little bit of a delayed reaction there as my brain processed what... Surely the game is not handing me some damage. DPS upgrade. Preposterous. But here it is. We have it. With enough complaining, anything is possible. Thank you for having the courtesy to become flies instead of a skeleton. You, I can't say the same of. You know what? Take one. Cancer! You are a god among men. Thank you, bum friend. Hope you appreciate your pittance, because you're not getting any more money at this point. You've done anything that you could possibly expect to be valuable to me. You are no longer needed. And goodbye to you, little, little uh, nest friend. I could have let him have it, but 15 cents is a good threshold for the shop. We're certainly not getting past Mom within 20 minutes. Let's open up that secret crevice. No, we're not. Have we already found a secret room? Apparently not. Ooh! Well, at least they're not a freaking charged champion. Oh man, it's double regenerating friend. I don't appreciate that. 
I find that very rude. Puberty, okay. Normally those guys just become goo once, but that was a champion that becomes goo after it's killed. So it gets double goo. I don't find that very fair. This game is not about fairness. <laughs> Alright, bum friend. This might pain you to watch, but I'm going to give my money to this proper bum over here. Yeah, I know it makes you feel emasculated, but not much we can do about that. He's going to be a lot more helpful than you are. He can pair with an item pedestal, and you cannot. Nothing else to it. This one will die, though. He gave me freaking ten cents. How about that? So with the Demon Beggars, as you can see, I was cheating the heck out of him. I was playing him twice for the price of one. You can do that if you are swift enough. Because the cooldown for him accepting your heart is smaller than the amount of iframes that you are granted for the half heart of damage he inflicts upon you. It's pretty hilarious that that's never been patched out or changed, ever. The game is pretty stagnant from a <laughs> development standpoint. Those kinds of quirks, they remain. And I guess that's fine, that's the kind of stuff you expect. Just leaving little quirks in there for the sake of having some character, some charm. Oh, we have Spectral Tears, so we can just cheat that guy. I don't know where in the dickens I am. Oh, should I try? I should try. Get this guy. Pay him out. The lovers, huh? I can earn some more money. The lovers. If he gives me HP, that would be nice. And I can take advantage of these hearts a lot easier. The blood bank, however, does not let you scam it. So, yeah, tough luck with that. Please, drop me a breakfast. Slide me a warm one. Oh, well that works too. Guess I will really inefficiently do this. <laughs> That's like a, what, 33% heart usage rate? Not the best. Mm, repeating, of course. Sorry, I, I lifted that joke straight from someone else. Point still stands, though. That is uh, one-third, which is 33% repeating. It's literally relevant. It is so satisfying to be plopping those spiders instantly. I could use my Joker to escape, but let's see if we earn a deal first. And I don't think it's really worth it for one tiny little gray chest. Or, er, regular chest, not even a gray chest. Gray stone chest is what I'm talking about. Chalking about. What did you say? Chalking about? <laughs> That's so silly. You? Be gone. Goat hoof. Almost viable, but not quite. You know what, Spitty? I let you have that hit. I hope you feel more confident in yourself, because now you are going to be killed. Oh, see the Blackheart cutscene is gone. Gotta appreciate that. Brother Bobby! Welcome to the party! My balls are so big that I can't even hit this man. Alright, one is freed. Two are freed. Three are freed. Alright, we have earned our devil deal against all odds. We get some tasty stuff. I will take this, thank you. Even more damage. Grab this as well. See what we have in store here. I can see forever. More range. Lemon party. I'm drowsy. Excellent. What I'm drowsy does is uh, slows down everyone in the room for the entire room. It's really strategically nice. Ooh, looks like I wasted my good roll there by <laughs> keeping that devil deal open. <laughs> That's not how RNG works. But yeah, you know what I was talking about with how the floors change the chance with each devil deal earned? Well, the same kind of applies with um, 
preserving the Devil Deal door when you leave the room and return. So, um, going into the Devil Deal, nothing happens, but leaving the Devil Deal, the, um, actually I'm trying to remember, going into the Devil Deal immediately docks the percentage. And that percentage is still relevant, even though you've earned the Devil Deal, it's still used for something. And that something is keeping the door open. So once you leave the Devil Room, that percentage is applied once again to see whether or not the door remains open for future usage. So then you could leave the boss room and you'd have to roll a good result once again to have the Devil Door stay open the next time you enter the boss room. So if you're feeling lucky, you might be able to use that to your advantage. Just the knowledge is enough power, man. A little too bold there. It's fine, it's fine. Nice that I can see where I'm going. I should probably go to the item room. We're in no hurry. It's no daily run. I always speak so ill of the daily runs, but uh... The general consensus is that most people do hate them. But uh... Hey. The show is your metal. Test of skill. Painful as it may be. That value is not any less relevant. This room can be a bit of a mind flip. <laughs> Ooh, almost got baited into that one. What is with the troll bombs? At least that guy's immune. Okay, the snot is almost tempting, but cancer has such a higher potential for returns. Interesting thing about cancer is that it lowers your tear delay instead of giving you a tears upgrade. So even if you're at a normal tears cap of five, it can lower you beyond that to 3, which is unfathomable. Almost 60% more damage. Alright, piercing shots. Don't mind if I do. So here's what I was talking about with that blister. Enemies could still be pushed back if I had it. But regardless, we can now penetrate the knight's tough frontal armor and reach the goodies inside without having to try to maneuver around them. The knights are those floating dudes, by the way. That's their true name. Might as well touch magic fingers, but... Doesn't seem to be high on our list of priorities, you know what I'm saying? We will touch all the items in due time. We don't have to prioritize that above anything else. This is only Depths 1. <laughs> We're gonna have another shop coming up to us. Beyond that one. Great success. And we're almost done there. Just about reached the terminus of the floor. Brownie! This! This guy. I am the great and mighty Pooh. This guy is freaking Dunmaku Central. He's. Basically the hardest boss up to this point in the game, maybe even beyond. You can't predict, you can't hope to go here without damage. I took three hits, mostly because I was whining, but also because, okay look, we finally missed our devil chance. By no fault of my own, <laughs> those three hits were insured. Interesting deal. I could go a little deep on these, but uh, considering we're about to enter the womb soon, that would be pretty inadvisable. So, goodbye. Bit of a waste there, bit of a whiff. Don't even want to try looking for the second secret room. Let's just move on. Now the real question is, should we not have a chance to go to Shoal? Will we still contribute our win towards Five Nights at Mom's by ending at Mom's heart? The hopeful choice is yes. The realist might say no. But, actually, when you think about it, the chest does count as a completion. It spawns a real chest when you beat Mom's heart. You can enter that chest, you end the game perfectly legitimately. It's not a trophy or anything, it's a bona fide chest. Alright, bomb friend, you, you go ahead and take that. I don't mind. You deserve it. That cancer is still giving out dividends. You really went ahead of yourself with that one there. And for that, I must thank you. Took 
the initiative. It's done you well. You'll get more money than most bum friends are allowed. Which isn't saying much, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. Explosive diarrhea, not necessary, but I guess I'll hold it. We have humbling bundles, so consumables are in no short supply. Double key. Get that key ring on there. They're called key rings, I believe. It's just two keys, but they are in a ring, so... I suppose that works. Never understood keys in video games. There's multiple copies of the exact same key, and every key opens every lock. Interesting concept, huh? I won't even try to explain the golden key. <laughs> Gold isn't more durable than any standard metal. Maybe these other keys are plastic. Hmm. Lots of questions. Few answers. Few hex to give, regardless. Nothing important to think about. Just the ramblings of a slightly insane man. Oh, welcome back, Juicy Sack. Glad I got you out of the way here. Temperance, huh? Interesting. We do not have any red hearts to use that with. Now that chest in the backwards L-shaped room, is that a spiky chest? No, it's a real chest that I just missed. And we got a free key for the um, item room, so that's pretty good. Pop, 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 pop. Hmm. Mysterious liquid, no reason not to take it. Another little bum friend. Uh, goodbye, sir. Now this is a second secret room if I've seen one. Perfect. <laughs> Let's find the regular secret room while we're on a roll. Maybe we can kill two birds with one stone here. Literally. Ooh. And we will increase our chances ever so slightly. Would you bet your life on a 72% roll? Probably not. Sissy long legs back in the house. So the problem with spectral tears and piercing tears is that the mysterious liquid will only interact at the edge of the screen. So basically it's kind of useless. Normally that would create a nice puddle of liquid whenever it makes contact with an enemy. Guppy's hairball. Not really worth it on its own, but thank you. More speed. We're almost at the full speed amount. The 1.2 speed cap. Ah. Nope, that would be too good to be true. This could be the way, though. <laughs> yeah, if you see on the map, some pro tips. Okay. Pro tips from yours truly takes damage. Um, but yeah, seeing the boss room directly next to where you start, if you have like mapping of some sort, probably too good to be true. You're gonna wanna loop around. It's extremely rare that the boss room would actually be that close to the spawn. And against something like Teratoma, this damage is spectacular. Thank you, piercing shots. And apparently Loki is affected by our mysterious liquid. Interesting thought, that. Well, anyways, here is our true boss room. And our true second secret room. Let's humor this little dude here. So most importantly would be earning a devil deal on the womb too. So if I miss this devil deal, I'm not going to be mad. In fact, I'm going to be pretty thankful. Because it gives us a higher chance to get the Womb 2 Devil Deal, and perhaps get some Shoal completion. It would be pretty spectacular. Not that I dislike playing as Kane. Give me more Kane, please. Alright. Good start. We unlocked Loki's horns by killing old Loki there. Loki 2, that is. A relatively rare boss. Compared to the real Loki. A little bisected, buddy. Kind of a morbid thought, but... Well, 
He's a fun-loving individual. Well, I guess two people at this point. And uh, instead of spawning the self-destructive bomb flies, he's a smart little cookie. And just spawns those little blood flies. So something went right there, but still dies relatively easily. The real challenge of the Loki and relatives comes from the arena that they spawn in when you fight them as a real boss. Because those arenas typically have moving spikes and all sorts of other garbage that makes them real tough to fight. So you're pretty lucky to fight one in a completely standard room. Or in like a challenge room. Loki is pretty common in those, and those don't have any tricky layouts. You can dodge to your heart's content. I think we're slowly making a roundabout journey. Never speak of that damage. Making our roundabout journey to the boss here. If the run ends here, so be it. It's fun. It's a little bit boring, quite vanilla. We got to see Mysterious Liquid in action. We got to fight two Dingles here. I said, yep, what a concept. And um, that's about it for noteworthy things. The game does start off a bit slow, but as you unlock interesting items, you can find some interesting stuff. Snowball's out of control. Mom's heart. Here we go. I will I'm drowsy this. No reason not to, right? So as you can see, everyone is slowed now. So Mom's heart's bullets... Let me get that robo baby while we're here. Mom's heart's bullets can't even reach me. On this side of the screen, that is. You really have to take advantage of the oblong room shapes. So basically... Staying to the right or to the left is infinitely better than trying to dodge on the bottom of the screen. Especially when everything is so condensed like this. Ooh. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're just about to eke our way through here. We have done it! Alright. We'll ignore that review of the run because we're going down. <laughs> Things could still change. Glass, baby. Rubber cement. Alright, see, that's one of the zany items I was talking about. Hopefully we'll find rubber cement soon, because that's some fun stuff. Now Shoal again, full of all sorts of sad, derelict bosses. Can be a bit challenging. Most challenging, of course, are the annoying rooms with those invincible turrets, all sorts of other garbage. But, persevere. There aren't many distractions to find. The occasional library will spawn, but of course no item rooms. Basically, there's a challenge room over there, but beyond that, it's just, just a straight shot to the boss. About to say our greetings to old Satan here. A nice little addendum to our very satisfactory mom's heart run. We cut an attack fly out of that. Pretty nice. Oh, that's right, okay. So, the timing between Stern Stroll and the spawning of the Fallen is always the same. So eventually you can internalize when that thing will spawn. So you could like place a bomb or something. You can get off on the right foot. And um, sadly, to this day, I have not really bothered to internalize that myself. Oh, come on now. Good shot. Good shot. No, you're supposed to brimstone. This guy will shoot his brimstone if you go below him, just like that. Beyond that, it's a freaking bullet hell. This used to be the final boss. Back in the very beginning of the game, in the earliest releases, this was it. This was a pretty challenging boss. Definitely lives up to the name, but we've gained even more fun stuff since then. Fun being subjective, please don't die. I am actually, uh. <laughs> um. Got a little, uh, careless here, but he's done it. I am a golden god, performing best under pressure, as always. We have seen this ending before, but might as well take the time to, uh. say thanks for watching. Another fun show run. 
Got pretty lucky to get two in a row at this point in the game. Eventually we'll be able to go to Shoal always, but the time is not yet. And actually, while we're here, we unlocked Kane's bomb bag, so that's pretty nice. Before I forget, we'll see that mom's heart ending. The same music, but slightly quieter, interestingly enough. Isaac's lovingly rendered bum. So yeah, rubber cement. How spooky is that, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Alright. So, we did Kane. We'll move on to someone else. And, um, I'll see you tomorrow with a daily run, or in two days from now, with another one of these tasty walkthrough videos. And, uh, yeah. Until next time. <laughs>